you, you know, you sort of said this, look, in a perfect world, great, like, none of us live in a perfect world, but, you know, there, to, if you want to move this agenda further, and, and it is this pie-in-the-sky, perfect world sort of thing, I think we need two things, right? So we need the conservation movement to start incorporating human, human well-being, put humans back into biodiversity, right? So the big hood, hoodwink, right, like, the, the first time I saw that word really splayed out there was in um, E.O. Wilson's classic book, Biodiversity. And um, many of you probably have it. It's in every bookstore. It's a gorgeous cover. Look at that cover of that book. That is the most beautiful cover you've ever seen. And it's a rainforest. It's a leaf. And there's a water droplet in it. And inside that water droplet, you can see an insect and an orangutan and all the sort of biodiversity. And that's the title of the book. And that, he's the guy who made us think about this amazing diversity of life on Earth. But there's one thing missing from that cover, and that's people. And there's not a little guy walking around or a woman walking around or a kid in that, in that picture. And I think that the conservation movement sort of got hoodwinked by that and completely forgot that our job is really not managing wildlife. That's not really that hard. It's managing people. That's hard. 